Hello guys, uh, you are welcome to the biology class once again. Uh, in this class, we are going to be talking about transpiration. Okay, when we talk about transpiration, transpiration simply means a loss of water vapor from different parts of the plant shoot. And when we talk about the plant shoot, we refer to the uh, the upper part of the plant that is above the soil. That's to the stem and the leaf and those parts that are involved in the loss of a, a, a water vapor they include the stomata of the leaves the lenty cells in the stem and also the cortical on the leaf surface so now when the uh, loss of the water is on the stomata it is called stomata transpiration if the loss of the water is on the lenty cell it is called the lenty cell the, called lenticular uh, transpiration why if the loss of water is on the cortical uh, of the leaf surface it is called corticular transpiration and uh, the greatest amount of transpiration occurs through the stomata and that is the stomata that is present in the leaf this is because the water that is uh, being absorbed or that is being taken up from the soil directly goes into the leaf okay and uh the water does not really stay on the stem goes into the leaf that's why the greatest amount of transpiration or loss of water in the plant takes place through the stomata that is present on the leaves okay so this is an uh, example of our transpiration you can see uh, this is a picture of a leaf and then you can see the droplet of water on the surface of the leaf the droplet of the droplet of water there is indicating or is showing that transpiration has taken place so that means water has been lost by the leaf through the uh, stomata of the leaf okay so look at what we have here this is showing the movement of water from the root that's from the root air so the water will go from the root air to the root and then uh, move through the root xylem and then goes into the stem xylem and then goes into the uh, the vein of the leaves and then to the mesophys of the leaf and then to the leaf. so the leaf is uh, like the end point of the movement of water. and that's why we said earlier that the greatest uh, amount of water is lost through uh, the leaf or through the stomata that is present in the leaf because the movement of water is in the upward direction when the water keeps moving up the last place it gets to before it is lost it is uh, the leaves okay so let's move on and talk an experiment to demonstrate transpiration plant what are the uh, materials that require for you to perform this experiment you need a bell jar you need uh, a well watered potted plant when you say talking about potted plant you're talking about a plant that is in the pot okay that is growing in the pot that means uh, you, uh, you 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 uproot a plant from the soil and you plant it in you put the soil in and plant the soil there and plant uh the plant in this uh in the pot and you water it and when it is growing well that be that becomes a potted plant you also have a uh, rubber sheet and then glass plates look at the setup this is the setup of the experiment okay this is uh your plant this is your potted plant you can see the plant inside the pot and then you have your bell jar this is your bell jar okay and then you also have uh, your uh, plate here you have your plate here and, uh, and lastly you have uh, the uh, sheet that is used to cover the root of the plant okay that's talking about the uh, rubber sheet that is used to cover the plant so that it will not allow water to evaporate from the root of the plant so that it will not uh, contaminate or it will not spoil the results of the experiment this is called a control experiment and this is a uh, the main experiment that's why in this case there is no uh, uh there is no 
ant okay so now what are the procedures involved in the experiment to take the uh, watered potted plant and cover it with a rubber sheet as you have seen in the uh, picture then the area part of the plant is uncovered okay you can see that we have covered the root part with the rubber sheet but the area part which is uh, the leaf part that uh, we and the and also the stem that we engage in the loss of the water is uncovered okay so then secondly you put the plant on the glass plate and cover with bell jar okay as you can see this is a bell jar the plant has been covered with a bell jar and then you prepare the same setup also uh, without the second without the plant and that's what you have here okay just to show us the control experiment and then they pl you place the apparatus in sunlight for some time so what do you observe now after some times the water drops appear inside the walls of the bell jar that contain the potted plant whereas there will be no droplets of water that will appear in the jar without the plant and that is to show that the water that is uh, that appears on this bell jar of the plant the water that appears here all this water that appears here they comes from the they come from the leaf okay i believe you are following why in this case there are no droplet of water because of the absence of plants okay so that means transpiration takes place through the leaf of the plant and that simple experiment you can also demonstrate and uh, uh, that you don't really uh, have difficulty in getting the materials you can get your plants you can get your belgia you can get uh your uh, your rubber sheet and then you can perform the experiment okay so let's look at the conditions that affect the rate of transpiration now is the size of stomata pores now the stomata pore is uh, the space through which water escapes into the uh, atmosphere so when the stomata pore opens uh, that means when the uh, stomata is turgid. When we say it's turgid, that means it's, it's swollen with water. At that point, it opens so that water escapes into the atmosphere. And then when the water has escaped, the stomata will close. Okay, so the pores of the pore of, of the stomata opens and close so that it will, also, it will control the amount of water that is uh, lost. Number two is humidity. When you talk about humidity, that's talking about the presence of air. Uh, of moisture in the atmosphere when you have less moisture in the atmosphere the, that means there will be high rate of uh, transpiration i mean there will be uh, less rate of transpiration when you have high moisture in the atmosphere that means uh, transpiration will be very low because there is water in the atmosphere but when there is less moisture in the atmosphere then there will be high rate of transpiration now Another one is temperature. When the temperature is very high, that means transpiration also will be very high. The rate of transpiration will be lost in the leaf and the stem will also be high. Wind also increase. Increase in wind and wind speed will also increase the rate of transpiration. And the last one is soil water. When there is much water in the soil of the plant, that will also increase the rate of air transpiration. Now let's talk about ways by which plants can reduce rate high rates of transpiration so that the plant will be able to survive if, if the plant do not reduce the rate of transpiration they will not survive that means they will lose all water and then they may die number one is closure of stomata during the day the plant closes the stomata during the day and by that they are able to uh, control the amount of water that is lost because Today there is the temperature is high, there's possibility of losing water. So during that time, there is closure of the stomata. Number two is a reduction of leaf size or leaf modifying into spines. Some plants are very small leaf and that makes them not to lose much water. In fact, some plants modify up their leaf into spine. Okay, so they don't even have a leaf, but they have a modified leaf that is a modified a spine so that will also make them to control the amount of water loss and dropping of leaves in the dry season when they lose their leaf in the dry season uh, the amount of water loss is
of the deals, development of thick cortical. Thick cortical will not allow water to be lost uh, easily. Then you have presence of sunken stomata. Sunken stomata means a depressed uh, stomata or a stomata that is that is uh, below uh, that is below the surface of the leaf. Okay, that means the stomata is not exposed. The stomata is deeply located, and that will make. Uh, the plant to also control the amount of water loss. Lastly, importance of transpiration in plants. How do you uh, know the importance of transpiration in plants? Number one, it enables plants to absorb water and mineral salt from the soil. Because water is necessary for photosynthesis and for other life activity, when the water is absorbed through transpiration, that is uh, an advantage. But it facilitates the movement of soil water uh, soil water that means soil water is able to move from the soil uh, through the stem and then to the leaf then evaporation of water due to transpiration from the plants cools this so happen in animals and lastly it also helps to remove excess water from the plant the plant will not be able to store excess water so that so so the excess water will be removed through the process of transpiration so that the plant does not become it and then uh, possibly be filled with water okay so in the, in the next video we're going to be talking about translocation this is transpiration next video we'll talk about translocation and i believe uh, it's, uh, it's also a very simple concept which you are going to understand don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to uh, share with your friends Thank you very much. So we'll continue this in the next uh, video.